EFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network. 10 o'clock market update on this third Wednesday, the 3rd of July, day before the 4th. And hope everyone has a great 4th. Let's go to the market. Dow's at 15. At 39, 333. It's testing this inside track repellent, uh, repellent line right here. Uh, we don't have any short positions at this particular time. We're looking at the chance that it's going to go above 39,571 before there's an attempt at a reversal again. We'll see if that occurs. Looking at the S&P, S&P also had a nice bounce to the upside. It's up about five at uh, 55.14. It's got just a little way to go to the 55.28.64 high of four sessions ago. We're looking at the uh, QQQ and the, the NDX 100 is trading at an all-time high. At 487.42, up 44 cents. The IWM, the Russell 2000, which has been the laggard, it's still the laggard, but there's a chance within the next two days, the nine period moving average actually crosses positive. I, I'm not sure yet whether it's going to do it. I have a bias to the upside. Let's see if that occurs. Now, talk about upside. Gold spectacular, 37 points to the upside, 223.71. Nice breakouts, the reason why. We've been long a silver stock, actually, looking at the silver. The so gold is up 1.64%. Silver's up 3.75%, about to test its inside track uh, repellent zone. That's going to be really positive. And therefore, the dollar should be pulling back, which it is. Down 31 ticks off to that peak E double top in the 106.13 area. Go to crude oil. Crude oil is up um, 34 cents at 83.16. Did go to a peak D yesterday. Holding very nicely. And let's go to bonds. Bonds right now are up, up a point. Now, that's important. That means yields will be coming down a little bit. It's very, this is an important week that we're looking at. It's a kind of a transition week to see if the laggers now become leaders for at least a little bit. We'll see if that happens. So I'm going to hand. So I'm coming up for the Tiger Technicians Hour in the next few moments. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. And uh, we'll see where we close today at 1 o'clock, where the prices are, because it's a shortened day. Will this be a, a two-click session with the low early this morning? And then we don't get out of any position. You don't have to until the end of the day. We'll see. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Dow is up 25. See you later.